I thought I'd uh, do a little instructional video today on uh, something that's pretty cool to make. I'm sure something that all you guys would want to make and uh, use. This is called a pump drill. Now a uh, pump drill is nothing more than just a regular, looks like an arrow shaft with a stone point on it uh, with a rock drilled through, shaft dri uh, pushed through that and then a piece of antler as a handle. Uh, what this does is it allows you to keep drilling without having to readjust your hands. All you have to do is wind it up a little bit like this. See if I can do this and film it at the same time. It's going to be fun. Anyway, get it wound up like this. And then you just apply downward force. And uh, it'll drill right through the stone. So anyway, I got all the parts here. Uh, to make one of these and I thought I'd show you how I do it. First off you need to go get a, uh, a stick. You know something straight. If it's not straight you can keep bending it until it is straight as it dries and then uh, then you gotta take all the bark off from it. So we'll use a, a flake um, that I'll strike off a core. This would be my, my core here and then we'll use that flake to skin the bark off so I'll be right back okay I've got a little piece of antler here I'm gonna just use that to strike right here right on this prepared edge you can see it's been kinda of ground ready to receive the strike so let's see if we can pop a, a little flake off here that's a little too small let's go to the next one over here we'll get a bigger one ah that felt better now what we have here is a really nice sharp blade and that came right off that surface right there. Let's see how it goes right back on there. So I got a lot more blades left in this core but uh, what I wanted was I wanted this blade right here because I'm going to take the blade and I'm going to use it for uh, deep arcing this right here. And as you see, it does a great job because the flake is really sharp. And it'll take all of that bark and all that green underside off, get it right down to the white wood. I think a flint flake is about as good as it gets when it comes to scraping bark off a stick. Okay, so we've got the start here, and what I'm going to show you is uh, if you stay with this long enough, you can get this whole thing cleaned off, and it'll eventually look something like this. So once you've uh, cleaned off all the bark, you need to uh, cut a groove here in the end, and that receives your stone uh, point that you're going to use as a drill and then carve the end here with a little knock. It almost looks like a, the end of an arrow just the way that's uh, grooved out there. And that will be where the string will loop up over and we'll put this together. Now the next thing you should do is you should find yourself a nice rock like this. I went around there and I chipped it and made it as round as possible. Uh, I just This is a piece of uh, bluestone and I drilled a hole in it in the middle as close as I could get and that will be my flywheel so I'll just uh, put this on over here like this and work that down as far as I can get it nice and tight okay that's good so now we have a weight so as we turn this the weight will give it momentum and help to rewind it Okay, the next thing uh, is you need to uh, get yourself a chunk of flint. This is some Onondaga, and uh, it's kind of a nice shape piece. Almost got the triangular shape that you'd want an arrowhead to be made out of. Well, after about 15 or 20 minutes, I chipped this thing down, and I made this right here. This is a nice little drill point. Now that looks like a Cahokia point or a desert side notch, 
but in this instance I'm going to use it as a drill tip and you'll see that that will fit right here in this slot that I've carved rather nicely snugly goes right in there okay so now we've got the drill and and every now and then you want to turn this just to see if it feels straight and if it doesn't just you know bend it with your thumb and you may take a couple days to get this to dry and to get straight as you want it but it will dry and uh, it'll be fine so the next thing you need is you need to tie that point on there or that drill tip you could use different things this is some back strap sinew right here and you can just peel off uh, a strand of this like this it's best to, to wet this first uh, because it'll be a little more pliable but uh, that makes really good uh, tying and the thing about uh, wetting the, the sinew is um, that it'll actually expand somewhat and then when you dry it it shrinks so it's kind of like shrink wrap in a way but for this uh, time we're going to use some of this right here this is imitation sinew uh, you guys can get this at uh, hobby shops it comes in a big spool like this and uh, I'm going to tie this on I'm going to just cut off a section of it here I just need probably about you know, maybe about that much and I don't and I, to cut this I have my knife here my fresh blade that I had it cuts it like nothing better than my pocket knife and what we'll do is we'll start tying this on I like to start right about in this area here I may even um, make a longer string if I don't feel this one's enough but I think this will be enough and then we're going to go right through these notches here there we go and we'll just kind of cross it over like this around cross it down again like this go around the bottom just keep crossing it until you feel you've got it on there nice and snug like this okay and then just wrap it around here because this adds strength below the point um, keeps it from splitting and just keep winding it like this that looks pretty good and then loop I like to loop it over pull it through give it a tug do it one more time just loop it over pull it through give it a tug and then you can cut off the excess with your with your flake here and you got a finished wrap on there and that's what it should look like so now what we've got is something that can drill through a rock so how are we going to make this a pump drill well we need another raw material we need this this is an antler tine and that needs to fit on here and drill a hole through this so it'll slide up and down the shaft and I've already done that with this one here and you notice I put a little I carved it in here just a little bit on both ends and that now fits right over the top here and I'll determine the length that I want this to be and um, so I'm gonna cut a string and we're gonna tie it on so I'll be back okay it's all done it's all put together now notice uh, up here in the top what I did was I stretched the the uh, imitation sinew uh, I tie it on each end of the antler tine I bring it up and then I bring it through this knock here and then I tie it around here to keep it from slipping from side to side so really the only thing left to do now is to try this out and to see if it actually does work as a drill so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wind this up Let's see here get it all wound right up and we're going to give it its first test run so you'll get to see it right along with me
Oh, this sounds good. This is drilling like crazy. If you look down there, you can see it's cutting into the stone. Well, I'd say our little experiment is a success, and uh, that's all it takes to be able to make a pump drill. So I hope you guys give this a try and uh, let me know how it works for you. Thanks for watching.